Journey to Forgiveness and Peace, who produced this video, is a nonprofit Christian organization that seeks to improve the lives of African refugees and immigrants. In addition to its U.S. ministry, JTFP has a ministry in the African country of Chad. This video will describe the ministry of Journey to Forgiveness and Peace in Chad. The people of Chad, like those of many African nations, are generally poor and have seen much suffering due to political violence. Acquiring the basic necessities of life is a primary focus of daily life. There are no closets full of clothing, multiple vehicles in a garage, or high-definition televisions in their homes. The people of Chad represented in this video would consider themselves fortunate just to have clean water to drink, a place to worship that protects them from the elements, and an opportunity for their children to learn to compete in today's world. The Republic of Chad is located in the center of Africa, bordered by Libya, Sudan, Central Africa Republic, Cameroon, Nigeria, and Niger. It has a largely desert climate, is one of the poorest countries in the world, and ranks as the 21st largest nation in area. Life expectancy is a little over 47 years of age. Arabic and French are the two most common languages. Over half the population is Muslim. The founder of Journey to Forgiveness and Peace, Ezai Toyengar, is a refugee from Chad who survived its civil war and barely escaped death a number of times during violent political turmoil. He was granted United Nations asylum status in 1995 and relocated to Sioux City, Iowa. Since then, his bride, Brigitte, joined him in America, and they are raising four children. They both became American citizens in 2010. Izai earned a bachelor's degree from the University of Northern Iowa in industrial technology. He is currently employed by Rockwell Collins in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Izai recently went to Chad to evaluate progress of the JTFP ministry in 10 villages near where he grew up. He also visited the JFTP Youth Center that was started in affiliation with two Christian churches in Njimina, the capital of Chad. Njimina is a city of approximately 1 million and over the last several years has been growing at over 100,000 people a year. The remainder of this video will focus on three critical current needs of the Journey to Forgiveness and Peace ministry in Chad. First, the need for clean, fresh water in 10 villages. Second, support needed to complete two village churches. Third, financial assistance in completing and furnishing a youth center in the capital city. Completion of these projects represents a cup of cold water given to Christian brothers and sisters in a politically war-torn, very poor part of the world. Upon arrival in his homeland, Isaiah was warmly welcomed by people in his own neighboring villages. Distant memories of unsanitary drinking water were quickly remembered when he once again saw the low quality of drinking and cooking water that Chadians must use daily. Don't look for a faucet in these village homes. Water is drawn from wells as it was thousands of years ago. Most Americans would decline the opportunity to drink a glass of well water seen in these video clips. You can significantly impact the lives of Christians in these 10 villages by helping provide financial assistance to dig new wells and provide water treatment to eliminate diseases using today's current technology. A request from leaders and members of the Christian church in the village of Mainanye to complete their church building to meet worship and teaching needs. Village members currently meet in primitive structures to teach their children and to worship God. Although these Christians have made progress in starting a worship center, they still need assistance in completing the structure to include a roof and doors. This church will become the centerpiece of their village once it is completed. This is the secretary of the church as well as the And uh, uh, this is their president, and she is uh, uh, asking God and asks you, Christians, also if there is a way 
to have helped them so they can be able to finish with what they have started at church. And what she mentioned, she said they have a path uh, uh, with some elders, but uh, uh, they have some issues. Uh, the issue is that uh, the church is not finished, and when the church is not finished, it is hard also uh, uh, to, 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 to bring people in that church and uh, her wish is to see how God can open the door and new brothers that God has in the heart to help them to build this church uh, before that uh, their pastor is moved to another area. And she finished by giving this, uh, giving that message to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The youth center in the capital city of N'Djamena is in its infancy. JTFP's goal for this center is to attract youth who are interested in learning the basics of how to use a computer. Both Muslims and Christians are welcome to participate. A primary additional goal in establishing this center is to present the gospel to these youth along with Christian growth opportunities. So far, a variety of technical equipment has been contributed to this center from Christians in Iowa. This equipment has included four solar panels and related power equipment, five refurbished laptop computers, a camcorder, which was used to record the video you were watching, an LCD projector, and a DVD video of the Jesus film in French, English, and five Chadian languages. Additional funding is needed to provide security for the equipment and furnish basic furniture for the center. One of the highlights of Isaiah's trip to Chad was seeing over 100 young people watch the Jesus film. This was the first time these youth had ever seen a video film of Jesus in their native language, Sarah. The donated solar panels generated the electricity to power the equipment since they have no electricity. Please pray for this ministry of journey to forgiveness and peace in both Chad and in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Ask God to bless your brothers and sisters in Chad by one, providing what we in America take for granted, clean water. Two, bringing to completion a village church, and three, provisioning a youth center in N'Djamena so as to provide the opportunity for youth to learn basic computer skills while at the same time learning about the life-changing power of Jesus Christ. Thank you for taking the time to learn about what God is doing in the distant country of Chad. Whatever you might also be able to do to financially invest in the lives of fellow Christians you will someday meet in heaven, will bless you now as well as in the future. As we bring this presentation to an end, we hope you enjoy the voices of chatty and children worshiping God in song. to one of the least of my followers, you will surely be rewarded. Matthew 10, 42.